So what happens when you use up your $5 million aggregate of SBA financing? I recently saw in a mastermind group that I'm in, in our private Facebook group, somebody made a post about getting creative because they wanted to get some SBA construction financing. And I know they recently acquired a business, an HVAC business through business acquisition SBA 7A financing. And they're coming up on their total allowable 5 million aggregate. He wants to buy uh, uh, um, some land and build out an industrial um, warehouse to house his roofing company, company and HVAC company. The problem is, is he's lacking uh, a bunch of capital to get conventional financing. So I saw this post in our group and I quickly responded, give me a call because I can help him. But what do you do? So here's what he should be doing. He should use utilize the SBA 504 Green Program because you can have an aggregate uh, amount of $16.5 million. So even if he has close to the $5 million aggregate, aggregate at this time with the SBA 7A loans that he has for the business acquisition, he can go ahead and he can um, get the property entitled, close on the land, uh, and then get a uh, 504 SBA Green Program. And so the green program is a second loan, right? The SBA piece is second on a 504. So it's 90% of total project cost. 50% of that is uh, senior debt. And then the second is the SBA piece. So if you do a green, which means you're gonna do a new construction or depending if he's doing new construction or buying an existing property, I think he said he was doing new construction. So as long as he's occupying 60% or more of the square footage, uh, then uh, new construction, it's eligible or could be eligible for SBA financing. So the point being, if he does something like add solar and hit certain benchmark in reducing energy consumption, and we have third party engineering companies that go out and do these studies, he can utilize uh, a lot more SBA proceeds. So he's not trapped at the $5 million aggregate. He can get up to 5.5 million in SBA. So we could do a total project cost of $15 million, give or take, using that $5.5 million SBA 504 green portion and the senior debt could be seven, eight, nine million million. So collectively you're doing a $15 million deal. So with the SBA 504 green, that's gonna be for something with uh, CRE or commercial real estate. So he wanted to buy the warehouse. So this is an easy strategy. I uh, can't wait for him to give me a call, but I figured let me shoot a video around this because I know you out there would be interested in this. So. This is a great tool for, for my real estate um, self storage investors that are building uh, or buying existing self storage. You can go, if you're buying existing, you can, you can um, we have a third party engineering company. Uh, they're they're going to give you like the low hanging fruit as far as what is the easiest thing to do to hit the benchmark so you qualify for the SBA 504 green. So all in all, if you do the 504 green, that's like $40 million of buying power between senior debt and the SBA uh 16.5 million aggregate so the the four or five million dollars that he has out already is not going to be considered in the aggregate so he has a lot more uh, borrowing power with the sba 504 green if you're interested in learning more about the sba 504 green you can book a call below but sometimes i get inspired to shoot videos um around what people are asking and i saw this pop up in my feed the other day so i figured let me create a short video on the value and the benefits of the SBA 504 green. So it's underwritten the same way. The difference is you have to eat, uh, meet certain benchmarks for energy reduction, essentially. And that could be for new construction. You could be buying an existing uh, building. And that could be as simple as adding LED lights. Uh, our third party engineering company, they're going to help you figure out what the low hanging fruit is, hit the benchmark requirements. Obviously, you can do as much energy efficiency as you want. So as we go through the years, more and more, you're going to see more of these energy efficiency type of loans where you're getting benefits like CPACE financing, uh, SBA 504 Green. There's, that's just a few of them. There's going to be more and more programs incentivizing developers and, and commercial real estate owners to do more uh, green conscious uh, building designs on their property. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this short episode all about the SBA 504 Green. It's a great tool to really scale up. So you're not stuck with the $5 million aggregate. You can utilize SBA for a long time as you grow your business. So hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next episode. Are you trying to escape the W-2 rat race? Or have you always wanted to own your own business? Have you ever thought about owning a franchise? 
If so, FranUniversity.com can help. Our training program teaches you everything you need to know about franchise ownership, from choosing the right franchise to launching and running your business. We have the resources and specialists to help you from A to Z. You'll gain the skills and knowledge you need to succeed as a franchise owner. The best part? It's free to join. Go to FranUniversity.com. Hey guys, Bo Exine here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years, and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.